In this example, we'll be using the discount formula to find the discount rate, R. Recall that the discount rate is usually given as a percentage that we change into a decimal. So we will obtain a decimal and which will change to a percentage in the very, very end. In this example, the sale price of a product is $33, where the regular price is $88. What is the discount rate? Since this is a sale price, $33, it makes sense why it's less than the regular price of $88. So a product that was marked $88 discounted to $33, there's a pretty big discount and we want to find the percentage in which it was discounted. So let's go ahead and use our formula. S is the sale price. The sale price of the product was $33. R is the regular price, which is $88. And R is the discount rate, which we don't know and we need to find. Plugging this into our formula, S equals R minus little r times big R. The sale price is $33, equal to the regular price of $88 minus the rate R, which is unknown times 88. If I rewrite this a little nicer, we'll see that this is 33 equals 88 minus 88R. And we can see this becomes a linear equation of one variable in which we've learned previously. So I'll go ahead and subtract 88 from each side. And we get 33 minus 88. We can use our calculator if we need to. It's negative 55 equal to negative 88R. Next, we divide each side by negative 88. And we get R equal to, using our calculator, negative 55 divided by negative 88, which is 0.625. If we rewrite this decimal as a percentage, moving the decimal over to the right twice, we get 62.5%. But in the directions, it clearly states that we need a round to the nearest whole percent. So this means that the rate would be equal to, instead of 62.5, I would have to round up to 63%. Therefore, we could say the discount rate is 63%. From a regular price of $88 to a sale price of $33 was a big jump, so it makes sense why the discount rate was pretty high.